Okay, I've got everything cleaned up here and ready for reassembly. Of course, I've got uh, this is our inner joint cup. I've got it all cleaned out. Uh, here's the um, the inner bearing and race and cage assembly. And now I've got it cleaned up. I can show you a little more detail on knowing which way this thing goes. As you can see here, it's got a little bit of a depression on the outside. On the inside, it's almost flush. Always remember that the flush side goes on first. Okay. Now. Also, uh, I got this, this is the old inside boot that we're going to be reusing. You want to be sure you clean all the grease out of it, and also you want to pay particular attention to the inside lip where the band goes. You don't want any grease under this lip or under this lip, because what can happen is once you put your bands on, if there's grease in there, it could actually cause the boot to slip on one side or the other, and it'll actually twist and it can damage the boot. Okay, uh, also one other thing. Your boot kit, this is our new boot. It comes with two containers of grease, it comes with all four clamps, and the, both of the circlips that holds the inside joint together. Now, one thing you need to be aware of, these two inner, inner boot clamps that goes on the little ends of the boot, both of those are the same size. But now, the outer ones are different. And the way you can tell is, we know this is our inside boot, and this is our new outer one. If you hold them together, you'll notice that the inside one is actually slightly smaller in diameter right here on the, on the big end, okay? So, that's how you tell which band goes on. Because you can tell those bands, if I hold them together there, that one of them is slightly larger than the other one, okay? So that way we know that the larger band's gonna go with that boot and the smaller band's gonna go with this boot. Okay, so what we're gonna start out with, I'm gonna kinda move some of these things out of the way. Give us a little more slinging room here. Now what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna take one of the containers of grease and we're gonna Put the grease inside this this joint here. Now, all you got to do is just kind of squeeze it in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just work it around there and try to get all of it on there. But I want to try to avoid getting any of it on the area where the boot clamp rides for the inside or the outside. You want to keep those areas clean as as, as possible. So I'm just going to keep squeezing the grease in here until I get all of it in there. Okay, that's good. Now if you see any areas of it where the grease is sticking out where it might catch the boot, just kind of take your finger and just kind of work it around. Of course, kind of cone shaped, I guess, so that the inside of that boot won't contact it when you go to lower it down on there. Just like that, okay? So now we're going to install the boot. So you're just going to take your boot, slide it over the end of the shaft, and as you work it down, be real careful with it and be sure that you don't get any of that grease on the inside lip there. So you want to work it down there real good and square, then ease it up on top of the joint there. Just work it around, just like that. So that way we didn't get any grease on there, so it'll be a good tight fit. Then just make sure you've got it engaged into the little slot down here on this end. And there we have it. We'll go ahead and put the clamps on this one. Now another thing we need to understand here is these clamps are actually directional. So you want to have these clamps facing the correct way as the way that the shaft turns when it's normally running forward. Now since this shaft is going on the left side, this would be the wheel end, so normally the shaft will be turning in this direction while the machine's moving forward. So what you want to do is you want to put your clamps on to where when you lever the bar over, it's going in the direction that the shaft would normally turn. That way you stand a lot less chance of something getting under the edge of it and maybe popping the clamp loose and causing your boot to get water and dirt in it. So just get that in place and just lever it over, just like that, and push it down all the way. All right. Then you just take your pair of pliers and you fold the little tabs over. Once you kind of get them folded over a little bit, hold that boot out of the way, then you can just take your pliers and just kind of hammer them on down flush. Just like that. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put this one on. Mind again the direction of the travel. Let's get it on there. Same thing, just lever it over and 
hold it down, and then fold your tabs over. Just like that. All right. Now we got this one done, so we'll work on getting this inside joint reassembled. Now we're going to assemble the inside joint. And what you want to start with, be sure you put your clamp on first. I don't know how many times I've just put the joint together and forgot all about this little clamp right here and had to take it all right back apart because this has to go on first. Also, be sure to remember the direction of your rotation of your shaft so you have your, your band positioned correctly. Next, you want to take the boot, slide it in place. Just go ahead and push it all the way to the other end there. Okay. Now, you want to put in your cage, inner race, and ball assembly. Set it down on there. Remember that the, the part with the recessed area in it goes on facing out. And your kit comes with a new circlip. So you want to put that on there. Make sure you've got it engaged all the way. All right. Now, we want to take our cup, take our container of grease, and put all of it inside that cup. Just like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is you want to start the joint back together, but you don't want to push it in there very far because the farther you push it in there, the more the grease is going to come squirting out of it. And then you stand more of a chance of getting it on the area where the bands go. So you just want to push that in there just enough to where you can get your circlip in place. So I'm just going to kind of ease that up in there. And then some of this excess grease that's coming out, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of wipe that up and set it aside for just a moment. What I'm doing is I'm putting it on my, my grease container here because I'm going to end up putting that back in there. Okay. Now you take your circlip, work it into the groove in there. Ooh, that's a messy job. Then just pull out on it a few times and make sure that you've got that circlip fully engaged in there. Okay. Now we're going to take all this grease here that's kind of gotten out of control here. Just try to kind of rake that all back around to where it won't get on your boot when you install it. Just like that. I'm going to take this grease that we wiped off earlier because you want to get all of it in there. I'm just going to kind of put it on the shaft there. Just like that. Now before I put this boot on here, I'm going to clean my hands up right quick and I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to run over these areas where the boots are going to contact the, the clamp area to make sure we don't have any of that grease on there so that the boots won't twist. Now I've got our clamp areas cleaned up, make sure I don't have any grease on those. We're going to do the same things we did with the other boot. I'm just going to ease it on there, try to keep it good and square so it doesn't get any grease on it. There you go. Make sure it gets in that lip all the way, just like that. Then we'll lever our clamps back over. Fold the tabs down with a pair of pliers. install the, the big clamp. There we have it. All right. Now, once we got this completely assembled, what you want to do is you want to scope that in and out a few times. What that does is that's going to work that grease all up in there. All right. 
And same thing with this in here. What you want to do is just kind of work it around and squeeze that boot. And what that does is that kind of works that grease into the actual ball joint itself. Okay. So we've got this completely reassembled and ready to reinstall.